Okay. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the new Progressive Discussions. I'm your host uh, for Progressive Discussions, um, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. Um, and I am here with my um, illustrious co host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored. In 1977, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling right. this? Let me finish. Hello. How are you feeling this week, sir? Well, without my nappy, I'm not too uh, happy. But well, you know, I'll get one later. Seven lucky bells, and, and believe me, we need it compared to uh, our disastrous last week uh, technical uh, crisis. Uh, and or sabotage last week and the week before the past two weeks actually I had to scrap all of our YouTube live shows because they were all horrible <laughs> of course I, I fired the uh, technical team that was responsible for it but they were absolutely atrocious despicable subpar beyond belief and I do apologize to everyone who uh, had to witness them, but you don't have to witness them anymore. Uh, no, they moved on to Instagram. I, I assume that uh, because it was YouTube Google Ooh. Corporation that the a live stream uh, would be high definition, like it said, it would be high quality. But little did I know it was the opposite. Uh, maybe it's because it was it's a corporate thing and they're not <clears> going to give you the finest quality uh, live video stream perhaps um, maybe they want you to pay for it yeah maybe they want you to pay for it but actually I think it has a lot to do with the fact that that your Wi-Fi is enough <clears throat> to get you on to the internet and onto live streaming you'll be there but there wasn't the the connection speed wasn't fast enough for optimum qual quality live stream video optimum quality high definition live stream video okay uh, uh, but, but it'll get you on the internet you know so in a way you were right yes it it, it, it did get us on the stream, but the audio was horrible, the video was, it was atrocious, like I said before, it was all blurry and pixely. Everything we discuss politically is part of our series, Crapitalism in a Conch Shell. And there's an awful lot of crap with capitalism. Yes, King Neptune. I know I have a long monologue, I have a lot to say, Ooh. a lot of catching up to do. That's true. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> uh, we are recording on an audio podcast as well as on a high definition 18.3 megapixel video which is far superior to um, the video we used to have on our past shows, which were, which were not high definition and not 18.3 megapixels. Seven lucky bells, I don't, I don't believe I rang them, for this week's show. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't like the way the last bell rang. That's better. Okay, let me get going here. No beer today. I had a bad week as far as my health went, as far as how I felt. It's going to be high antioxidant rich medicinal tea. Herbs from my garden and tea that I purchase. It's a, it's a medley of medicinal wonders which includes fresh sage and oregano from my garden. Oh, oregano is good. 
You know, uh, commercial chicken farmers are starting to give their chickens oregano instead of antibiotics. Purdue, Mr. Purdue. Because it's that powerful? Yep. It's in the water. It's probably the strongest natural antibiotic known. <coughs> uh, oil of uh, wild oregano. There you go. Or uh, maybe all oreganos. There is a Mexican oregano, you know. Well, that's a marjoram, I think. Well, then maybe it's in that's the family not good of enough. marjoram. Not, not margarine, not the <laughs> yeah, toxic uh, margarine. margarine, you yeah. know, that gives you cancer. Hydrogenated trans fats. Ugh. No, we don't want that. Ugh. Um, a moment of silence for the, uh, the death, the passing away of... Uh, uh, Hugh Hefner, he died at age 91, right? I wonder yep. if they buried him in his um, black and red smoking jacket. Uh, no, he has a red one. It's black and red. But he will be buried next to Marilyn Monroe. And I'm sure he pre-selected that plot. In a mausoleum, you know, where she is. Well, yeah, he... Uh, single-handedly uh, put her on the map, I think, right? Well, she was on the first issue. I think that's that's kind of nice, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy, you know what I'm happy about is that he outsmarted his, uh, <coughs> his young 30-year-old uh, playboy playmate uh, wife by leaving her nothing in his will. <laughs> she thought she was going to cash in the gold digger, and Ooh. the joke's on her. Hugh Hefner was too slick. He did make her sign an ironclad prenuptial agreement, mm -hmm. which was very ironclad. I wonder what he left his daughter. But, um, you know, that's pretty cool, because Probably. he knew, listen, he, he, he was a, a very intelligent man, a highly intelligent, uh, um, a competent businessman too. He knew these girls, I mean, were after his money. I mean, his wife was 60 years younger than him. Really? There was a 60 year difference. That's right, you heard it correctly, 6-0. You know? Did and, you know uh, that Barbara Walters was a bunny? Huh? Barbara Walters. Really? As was, of course, Gloria Steinem when she uh, what? exposed him. She became a bunny for a week or so while she was ex you know, doing Walters. the exposition well, of him. I, you know, I imagine that these, these women were young at one time. Well, it was a way to break into, you know, <laughs> showbiz and all that well, crap. I know Lee Merriweather was, is a former Mrs. America, I think. Yes. Lee, the, Lee Merriweather, who... Uh, Played with Barnaby Jones uh, as Star the secretary. Trek. Star Trek. She was in there. She was one of one of the three cat women on the old yeah. on the old Batman series with Julie Newmar and Eartha Kitt. Yeah. Anyway, moment of silence for Hugh Hefner and um, Bobby the Brain Heenan. Poor guy. Probably the. Probably the only natural born stand up comic in professional wrestling. The genius at the microphone. <laughs> Moment of silence. Okay, now let me commence. Excuse me, I'm just, I'm, I, I have recovered <laughs> from a whopping cold, as well as a, a strained, uh, possibly partially torn abdominal wall, which was my own fault. All right, where, where were we? Republicans seem to be clueless about what's in the new health care bill. Because I think, because they know, it's a screw job of you. And Trump keeps saying they got the votes. Of the of the lower nine, 98 percent are getting <laughs> screwed. Now, um, speaking of screw job from the Trump administration, 
Uh, Trump's kids were lying about their father's new tax plan. They said that it, it, it is targeted to benefit the middle class and small businesses. <laughs> Poppycock, balderdash, hogwash. It is designed... Horse pucky. Okay. As it, Colonel Potter says on that. Oh, it is designed... It, 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 they, they are winky-dinking you, like Mr. Haney on Green Acres, <laughs> winky-dinking the public to make you think that, but it's actually helping the top 2% of the income population, the, 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 the mega rich. And the big corporations. Which includes the Trump family. Dropping the big corporation. Yeah. Uh, well, well, hey, uh, I believe it's something over 60% of corporations don't pay any taxes right now. Right now. Well, And they're going to drop it from 35 to 20. Well, the lying, uh, let's put it this way. The apples do not fall far from the lying tree. Yeah, it is apple season. Yes, it is. It is the season for apples and pears. That's yeah. right. It, it, is, it is. Now we're encountering autumn weather. Yeah. And tomorrow is the first day of October, my favorite month of the year. <coughs> and um, it's a very special month uh, in many ways. The holidays are fun in autumn in general. But I like it. You know, the, the beautiful foliage, the different colors of the leaves. Mm -hmm. You know, like that old song, Autumn Leaves, you know. The autumn, autumn leaves. Autumn leaves on your window. Mm -hmm. And then they made the sound. That's like a cross between, a, it's like a turkey. It was supposed to be autumn leaves hitting your window. but Okay. Uh, <laughs> Chris Christie, you're an obese uh, a gluttonous, uh, uh, um, a fat piece of shit Republican. You are, without a doubt, Krispy Kreme Crisco, Chris Christie, because a gentleman from Morris County by the name of Tom hey, contacted Tom. me, and Tom is is on living on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. And when you live on a fixed income, you only have so much to live on. Right. That's why they call it a fixed income. Yeah. Well, Chris Christie lowered, because of Chris Christie's new law, his SNAP, his food stamps, went from $194 down to $50, and now they lowered it again down to a whopping $15 a month. Yes, you heard it right, people. $15 wow. a month. That's an insult. That's a slap in the face to any adult humanoid. What the hell is any person or child going to do with fifteen dollars a month? And the and the excuse was that Chris Christie passed this new law where if you're only paying room and board and and you cannot prove that you're also paying for utilities, then you get your food stamps cut back. Uh -huh. What the hell does paying the electric bill have to do with your, your n nourishment requirements, your food. Well, I know some people who are paying electric bills along with their board, room and board, and their, uh, their food stamps is only $16 a month. That's, oh, one more dollar. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's why I said it's, it's a bullshit Republican excuse to cut food stamps. Well, obviously. It's, it's illogical. It doesn't make sense. That's yeah, correct. That's correct. Okay. Anything they do doesn't make sense. Okay. Now, um, of course, Donald Trump um, uh, was pulling the same routine with Puerto Rico that he pulled with Mexico, the same uh, racist routine against brown-skinned people uh, based on Trump's um, uh, um, delayed uh, procrastination um, a, a, a lack of activity towards helping the poor people of Puerto Rico and, and Trump's ridiculous statement about Puerto Rico recently that, oh, Puerto Rico is an island in the middle of a big ocean. Yeah, the Atlantic. Well, first of all, it's not in the middle of the Atlantic. It's part of the Caribbean. It's right next to 
the island of Hispaniola, which consists of uh, Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic, Haiti, uh, 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 the U.S. Virgin Islands are right next to Puerto Rico. It is not an island all by itself in the middle of a big ocean. Now, what, what did that mean? If, uh, knowing how Republicans think and knowing how <laughs> Donald Trump thinks, it sounded like he was trivializing the plight of Puerto Rico, which should be either independent or a state. Well, you do know that Not a commonwealth. Puerto <coughs> Rico, Virgin Islands, and uh, the other protectorates of uh, the United States pay more for food and etc. than we do here on the continent. So it's just, so what you're saying is it's, it's, it's a, it's a, um, stereotypical uh, Republican screw job of Puerto Rico just like they screw Mexican immigrants who legally try to come into the United States and get a tourist visa or a green card. <clears throat> a tourist visa, a person who wants a tourist visa has to show that they own a home and have money in a bank and they have sufficient income. They're, <laughs> they're tourists. Why do they need to do that? And, 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 and sending people from Baja to a dangerous Juarez, Mexico, to the consulate to get their green card. Meanwhile, they're from the West Coast in, uh, in Baja. They're all ways to force people to quit applying for whatever they're applying for. They do it with welfare. They do it with sup, uh, SSI, Supplemental Security Income. They do it with... Social Security disability. Mm -hmm. They deny you the first for the first time for no logical explanation, no logical reason. They just deny you. They want they play the numbers game. What they're doing is they'll see their legal documents and legal forms that people apply for. But they're going above the law by finagling with the law. Like, they, they reserve the right to discriminate and be unfair. That's uh, the official policy of the Social Security Administration is to deny you the disability, and is to deny you on first term. And then you yeah. have to end up getting a Social a lawyer, Security whatever, advocate, yeah. a, a legal representation. Yeah, yeah they, may, they want to make you quit. That's it. Okay, moving along. Because we do have a, um, with this new system, we do have a 29 minute uh, pause. 29 minutes and 50 seconds, but, you know, why couldn't it be in even 30 minutes? It's, yeah. be, it's beyond me. You have to ask the Sony Corporation. <clears throat> Maybe it's a, it's a Japanese thing. Secretary Tom Price. Was, yeah, he's gone. He was using a fortune in taxpayers' money for personal use. He was living high on a hog, uh, which includes, I think, a, a private jet. Um, it, it looks like most of Trump's appointees, uh, uh, like Republicans in general, tend to steal taxpayers' money. That's correct. They do things on the taxpayers' dime. <coughs> That it is it is definitely without a doubt a trend. Mnuchin and the other uh, there's there's seven of them I believe, and Tom Price is gone right now. He resigned, so well, the others gonna, should do the same. He's so. going to get fired with pressure on Trump. Yeah, but uh, you know I mean the American Red Cross has that big white ship with the Red Cross on it. You know the uh, I think it's called Hope Comfort ship. It, there's it's all hospital beds. Yeah. It's on its way. Well, why wasn't it, was it on, on its way, way several days ago? Several days ago. And it's only up here in Virginia. It can't get to Puerto Rico in a day? Impossible. I I think I think they in Norfolk. I think the government delayed helping uh, Hurricane Harvey victims in Houston, Texas. To be honest with you, probably so. Because. Uh, 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 Mr. B.O.B.U. Arbusto did it in Katrina. That's what they do. Why do you think he hired that horse trainer idiot guy for FEMA? 
They don't want FEMA to spend the money on stuff like that. Oh, but 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 they but they sure love to use taxpayers' money for their own selfish private agendas. That's correct. Personal agendas. That's correct. And it and it and and then they will tell you it's their money. They worked hard for it. How could that they be? They earned it all. How, how could that be? It's their money. They, it's their just like the Earth's natural resources belong, it's theirs too. belong yes. to the elitists. Yes. Because they say so? Yeah, because they say so. It sounds like the old popes back in the day. You know, uh, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Oh. Because I have, I'm in power. That's right. And if, I, and if the person owns the land or the mine or the uh, whatever, eh. It's his, and he can tell you what to do. Well, they sure disrespected um, Native Americans in North Dakota, yeah. didn't they? They sure told them what to do, didn't they? The Lakota Get Sioux. off the land! We're gonna it's our land! We're going to steal it. Yeah. We're going to steal it and take it by force. And then say that it was God-ordained. It was God-ordained, man. Is that is that why they, the... Um, the redneck evangelical flag waving tea baggers are always saying, God bless America and God is on, uh, is on, on our side, side of the United States and God doesn't like anybody else but that's us. That's right, that's right, that's right. But it's always their form of, of freedom and their form of United States government and their form of Constitution and their form of Bible. They like to rewrite everything. Yeah. If they don't, yeah. If it ain't, to, if they yeah. don't like what it is, there, yeah. you know, then and there, they they do. They want to rewrite it. If it's not, if you don't look like them, and you don't live your life like them, and you don't believe what they believe in, you're no good in their eyes. Which is a, a lily white, Caucasian, uh, generally uh, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Yep. Uh, racist, bigoted people. Mm -hmm. And these are the people that attended the Donald Trump rallies in 2016. <clears throat> and uh, these are, many of them are in, in, in severe need of uh, some fresh brain cells because they're definitely lacking in them. This is why all Americans must vote in every election must vote. All Americans of, that are of legal voting age mm. must vote. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you don't vote, you have no right to complain. Um, whether you be 18 years old or 80, you must vote. Um, the more volume of Americans that vote, the less of a chance that a Republican will ever get elected. True. And, okay, let's say you have... I'd like to see a progressive uh, <coughs> independence control the United States, but let's say we have to accept the lesser of the two evils and we have a Democratic-controlled Congress and Senate, you know, and, and, the, and the White House. All right. We still can get a hell of a lot of good things done for, for the 98%. You know, it's like, I mean, they may be corporatists, but yeah, well, things will get done. But If, uh, if they're corporatists like Clinton, forget about it. Well, Clinton uh, uh, accuses uh, uh, Bernie Sanders' plan of uh, free health care and public university education for all as giving away ponies. In other words... Uh, she sound, she yeah, sounds. Yeah, but the oil depletion allowance is not. <laughs> but she sounds like a Republican with that statement. It's it. She is a Republican. With oh, that you're statement. giving away ponies. Yeah. You're giving away. You're giving. You're 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 giving out. You're giving handouts to the little guy. Look, you're, you're, if uh, if if big money is supporting your campaign, you're not going to say anything against it. And that's what you have with these Democrats, the corporate Democrats. So her new book doesn't look like it's designed to 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 warm up to the little guy. No, it's not warming. It's not warm and fuzzy like a 
like a everything teddy bear. that was warm and fuzzy during the campaign came from Bernie, and she took certain things over right. from him. From him, he 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 gave her certain things to certain policies that he wanted put in place, and she was forced to take them. Right. That's all. But uh, if she had her druthers, she'd kiss the ass of Wall Street just like her hobby did. Oh yeah, when you he know. kowtowed and uh, with that that um, in that insane um, bipartisanship compromise with right. with the bloated toad Newt Gingrich. Of course. Sign. Okay. Twenty-five on. All right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Twenty-six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Yeah, when they when they uh, gutted out welfare as we know it, and they <laughs> signed away Glass Steagall. That was the compromise between uh, Bill Clinton. I, I feel your pain, Bill Clinton, and uh, and the the wit, the fat, uh, wicked, stingy. Piece of shit, New King, New Gingrich. All in the benefit of Wall Street, which broke our economy in 2007, 2008, because they had the freedom to do so, and they have it again. Well, um, we might as well sink our teeth into these readings on the next, on the next 29 minutes and 50 yeah. seconds. Yeah. yeah. You know, Ready to roll. yeah, but uh, I, th that really sucks, man. I mean, you think Chris Christie, you know, uh, getting back to the earlier statement, you would think Republican Chris Christie would be nicer towards the end of his um, administration. Well, he's got the that, end of his eight years. He's gonna save all those uh, people addicted to opioids. Yeah. What about people that that? Don't have, enough, don't have enough food in their house. How would that people, you know? Groceries. What about know. groceries? Cutting food stamps down because you're paying room and board and you're not and you're not proving your that you're paying an electric bill. Yeah. <coughs> oh it's, it's it's totally uh, it's heartless, is well, but that's how they are. That's why you have to vote them out of office and never, never elect them ever again, the Republicans. That would be nice. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure all the insane statements and um, lack of empathy and compassion that comes out of uh, Donald Trump. I'm sure Bernie Sanders has been really on a roll. Yes, he has. Being infuriated by that, all that. I know, <laughs> he, I know, he was infuriated by the tax plan, yeah. the, the recent Trump tax plan, which is based on a lie, right? Well, they, uh, look, I don't want to start now because we're going to cut, but yeah. I'll, I'll tell you later. Tell, uh, yeah, on save the, it for later. On the flip side. But, re, but remember it later. Yeah. All right. We're closing in. Closing it's in. Actually, it's actually uh, on the first three. On the first three sessions, it's actually 29 minutes and 50 well, there it is. seconds. And we bing. are... Bing! Fifty second countdown. Now it'll stop automatically. Hmm? Yeah, but you know what? With all the friggin' poltergeists and... Uh, and evil spirits, and, and, and with all the things that have been sabotaging. Okay, we are back from our little break. Start that on. Uh, Zero. There you go. Alright. Lost, we lost some seconds, but we're back. All right, now what were you, what were you going to say before you started to uh, begin the readings? Okay, one of the uh, things bad me. things about uh, uh, Barack Obama 
well, was, was the fact that when he came into office, he allowed the Bush tax cuts to remain in place right. for his whole eight years. And, he, and we could have had health care reform in the first two years. That too. Because, because the Democrats were in total control. Bingo. Now that uh, tax cut, Bush tax cut, it was a drag on the economy. A couple of trillion dollars mm -hmm. that was wasted. Okay. Yet at the end of uh, Bill Clinton's uh, tenure, he's got a. Uh, they differ on the amount all the time. I see different amounts, mm -hmm. but somewhere's about two hundred and some billion dollar deficit reduction. No deficit when he left office. Soon as George Bush gets in there with his tax cut in 2001, <laughs> deficit balloons again, etc., etc. Well, this is it. Isn't this a pattern of uh, of Republican versus Democratic administrations? Well, uh, yeah, but sometimes the Democratic administrations come in and clean up the damage that the Republican has done, much like FDR. Right. But in this instance, Barack did not. He was very proud of the fact that there were many jobs created for. I don't know, month after month after month, but there would have been many more if the tax cut had been stopped. Could you imagine how much the economy would, would have been stimulated right. and skyrocketed if the tax system that um, Ronald Reagan uh, put in the very unfair tax system was uh, abolished, and we went back to the original, you know, rich man pays most of the taxes. No, and, because and under Crumpy's plan, he wants to do away with the estate tax, which is levied only on people who have an estate of $5.5 .5 million. So he wants, he only cares about cutting taxes for the rich. Oh, no, they it. say for farmers. Farmers. These are lies. Well, you know, they used to say that the Agriculture Department, uh, with their, uh, their <coughs> subsidies, was for the low, uh, the low wage farmer. <laughs> and it ended up being for all the big ag agribusinesses and all the other crap. That's what they do. Look what they did with the 14th Amendment. It was supposed to be the free to, free to slaves and, 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 and due process. And it, it ends up, for people, for people, mind you. But it ends up as due process and everything else for corporations. That's what they do. And it, it, it ends up being tax cuts for the rich. Right. All, only. And, right. and an additional tax burden for the middle class. Well, yeah, you got to get the extra money for somewhere. Which is Main Street, which is small small businesses, entrepreneurs. They continue uh, to have the burden uh, after believing the, the campaign lies of Republicans. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you know that that any any cutting of the few crumbs in social services... You know that their, <coughs> their excuse for cutting the few crumbs doesn't make any sense. Like like what I just told you before about Chris Christie. Yeah. Well, if you're if you're paying rent, and and you and you're only paying room and board, and you're not paying for a, a, an electric bill, utilities, you're not paying utilities. Therefore, you have enough money to buy your own groceries. Correct. But what the hell's the difference? Usually, room and board includes. Sometimes it does. It's some of the utilities Utility. that you're using. Yeah, sometimes it it's does. It's supposed to be all inclusive. Yeah. When you pay room and board, and board. 
No, room in broad, in broad would be Hugh Hefner. Yeah. You know, that's it. The Levity Bells. This time in 18.3 megapixels. High definition. But, is nothing, is, there is no levity when it comes to Republicans and what they have been doing to the uh, low-income people and the poor and the middle class. And the economy. And the economy. Well, of course, it, uh, the, the little guy is, has always been the backbone of the uh, American economy. The more well, what do you expect when corporations take billions and billions of dollars, or trillions, actually, of dollars, overseas? And don't bring it back here to be taxed. As far as my book tax goes, ha tax havens. Those people are traitors. Yeah, well, yeah, treason. Yeah, absolutely treason. Tax havens and tax evasion. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, you're hiding your money uh, overseas. You're um, you have your your corporation's address. Overseas and all the loopholes in the tax system, you can only use. The little guy can't use uh, itemized uh, deductions because he doesn't have enough. And this is what what Bernie, or medical, what Bernie Sanders or meant. charity. This is what Bernie Sanders meant about closing many of these loopholes. Oh. These unfair loopholes that are designed to have all the loot going to them, going to the top. That's it. And what's pathetic are these um, nine-to-five hum uh, Joe six-pack humanoids that actually believe in trickle-down economics, like it was true, you know. I was appalled to read this letter, which indicates that the writer appears to think that the First Amendment applies only to Donald Trump and not to any of his critics. Yeah, Donald Trump and, and his ki and his kids, his uh, princes and princess. His birther comments, the statements regarding the Khan family, the federal judge, Charlottesville remarks, the NFL players, and the national anthem controversy are acceptable to his supporters because they share his political ideology. In the United States, even the president is subject to the criticism of his policies, comments, and actions. He may be the most interesting man in the world. No, that's the Dos Equis man. But sadly, for the wrong reasons. Somebody's kissing Trump's ass here. Trump supporters seem to object to the fundamental, fundamental principle of the First Amendment, which encompasses freedom of speech and the right to peaceful dissent. This basic principle is what Americans have died for throughout our history and what sets the United States of America apart from many nations. Otherwise you have fascism. When we fail to understand this American principle, we do a great disservice to our forebears and the institutions that they created. I agree. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Is there ever a statement by Donald Trump that is the truth? No, he's a pathological liar. And a narcissist. He said this week... And an egomaniac that there were enough votes to pass the new health care bill. The truth is there were not enough votes and the bill died before coming to a vote. Do you remember the, uh, the recent article where he's standing next to uh, Vice President Mike Pence and, and says, uh, oh, I, oh I, 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 if, only, if only my wife Melania was with me right now, and she's standing right next to him, giving giving him a dirty look. So Pence is like also giving him a dirty look, like, what are you like? Uh, you have dementia or something? Ah.
he said that the new tax plan proposal would not benefit himself, but actually he would benefit greatly as it does away with the estate tax, and if we can believe what he says, that he is worth ten billion, he would benefit greatly. Last weekend, Trump tweeted 26 times regarding his hissy fit with the NFL. 26? Just on the NFL? You know, uh, people do have a right not to stand or kneel to uh, any national anthem, especially one with stupid lyrics. Well, the Republicans have a funny way of granting rights to people. So that's not that's unpatriotic, but all the other things that Republicans do to veterans is patriotic. Also, uh, or the lack of whatever what a corporation or a CEO wants you to do or do to you is a right, and you don't have a right to fight it. No unions. They don't want unions. It's, it's like the sheriff of Nottingham. What do you call that? Uh, during feudalism, it's the king's forest. You you really? cannot hunt, you cannot hunt the king's deer in the king's forest. Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it, yeah. Or, or uh, the fact that poor Nostradamus had to hide all of his visions in in riddles and quatrains. Quatrains, yes. So so the Inquisition would not. Uh, uh, you know, burn him at the stake or, or, or hang him for a heresy or something. Exactly. From the Catholic Church, you know, he had to hide because, them. Because those in power were in charge. They don't, they weren't crazy about Da Vinci either. Leonardo Da Vinci, Galileo. No, yeah, the ones in power. They were kind of like Republicans of today. They're, they were anti-science. They were anti-progress. They were anti-education. Um, Higher education. That's true. You know, they, they don't want a smartened up uh, population. No. No. Because then they get their asses overthrown. Ah, they don't like that. They don't like that. Six times regarding Puerto Rico, where 3.5 million Americans are without power and nearly out of food and water. With regard to the NFL situation, Trump called the players sons of bitches because they were exercising their constitutional right. But yet the con members, white supremacists, and neo-Nazis, one of whom murdered a young woman in Virginia a short time back, are fine people, according to Trump. See the you see the hypocrisy with the right wing? During his presidential campaign, Trump said he would drain the swamp. Drain the swamp. Well, guess what? The uh, the pond scum sucking creatures. Creature that, from the Black Lagoon. That slither from under the rocks at the bottom of the swamp happened to be his ilk. Yeah, that's why he's why they're still there. I mean, they really have to, they really have to do something bad out in public before he fires them, or they resign, or he gets rid of them, or whatever. You know, it, but it, behind our back, they can do anything they want. You know, it sounds like a real uh, ass-kissing, um, idiotic motor mouth is that, that Kellyanne Conway. Exactly. I call her Kellyanne Contway. I'm, I'm really ashamed that she's from Bergen County, New Jersey, mm -hmm. where, where, where we are from. Where I am from, rather. Reverend Bill is from Pennsylvania. How about getting rid of Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price? Well, he did. Who spent over $400,000 on charter jet flights. Taxpayers' money, of course. Hey, there goes all the uh, the money that was supposed to go for towards the poor, for for the social programs, right? Health, health, and human services. It went to Tom Price's uh, plane. You know, fun and frolic. Yeah. 
One of the flights was from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia at a cost of $25,000. The 125 miles would cost what? about 50 by car. You know how slow, not slow, you know how close Washington, D.C. is to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? It, it, it take if it if it takes it takes two hours to drive from New York to Philadelphia. It takes about four four and a half hours to drive to Bal from New York to Baltimore. Another half hour or so to Washington. Washington is not far from Philadelphia. No. And let us not forget Secretary of the Treasury Steve Mnuchin who wanted a government plane to go on his third, yes, third honeymoon. Yeah, they, they, hey, when, when, you, when, you, when you have to tell your kids that you have, um, you have like uh, a chicken feed to give them for dinner and they have to go to bed uh, partially hungry, or hey, that's where your money's going towards. That's where the taxpayer's money's going. It's going up to the fat cats right in their pocket. One thing Trump is right about. America does not need to drain the swamp, and he should be at the head of the line. Just for the record, I always have and always will stand up for our national anthem, but Big deal. I am also a supporter of our Constitution. Oh, really? Oh, really? They really support the Constitution. Do they bother to read it? Just like they, 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 bought, they don't bother to read the Bible? Well, was, as I said, Republicans have a, a different view of rights and who has them. Holding up a, a document and claiming to you know, be all for it and protect it is one thing. Actually uh, living it, knowing what's inside the document and living it is another. But then again, you know, you got to love the last chapter of the book of Revelation. You know, whoever try, whoever changes anything in this book or adds to this book shall feel God's wrath. <laughs> Well, they try to rewrite the Bible all the time. They've done it. The right-wing evangelicals. They've done it. That's why Many you... of the new versions that are out are rewritten versions. Re yeah. written versions. The, the only accurate Bible is the original King James Bible. The original and first English translation with all the these, thys, and thous. Donald Trump promised Wednesday to bring revolutionary change to the federal tax code. Revolutionary change? So that American companies and workers can start winning again. Wait a minute. American workers or just the company? I, I, think, I think it's more or less... The companies and workers. The CEOs are going to be winning. He actually included workers. How the fuck are the workers going to win? How are they going to win? Is he going to bring all the jobs back to the United States and keep them here? I don't know. He thinks he did with Carrier and the other ones. There's never been tax cuts like we're talking about, Trump said. Trump presented a tax plan he wants Congress to pass before the end of the year to deliver what he has said would be the largest tax cut in the nation's history. Under our framework, we will dramatically cut the business tax rate so that American companies and American workers can beat our foreign competitors yeah, and good. start winning again. Good luck. You're way, behind. You're way behind the foreign competitors. Now, I, I, I wonder where, where workers benefit from a business tax rate. Yeah, because there's no trickle-down. Yeah, trickle-down doesn't work. 
Workers don't benefit for a, a you know a no. corporate tax rate no, or a no. if business all, if, tax if rate. If all the prosperity just pools at the top and there's no trickling down, then the workers get nothing. So it's it's another Trump lie. Mm -hmm. You know, Trump is also promising to reduce the corporate tax rate to below the average of other industrialized nations. And why do they need another? Uh, tax cut, the filthy rich, really. Which he said would be a revolutionary change. And the biggest winners will be the everyday American workers. <laughs> right. As jobs start pouring into our country. Pouring into our country? I think so, huh? You know what I think? I think uh, corporate American CEOs are so stingy and greedy and evil that uh, they they could pay zero taxes and they still won't bring the jobs back. <laughs> They'll still outsource them because they can get those poor souls, you know, over in China working for like 32 cents an hour of course. With, with no benefits. They're that greedy. They, they you think you think the jobs are going to come back? No fucking way. Trump is seeking a much-needed win as he recovers from Republicans' failure to repeal the Affordable Care Act and the election loss Tuesday, the loss of Luther Strange, Trump's chosen candidate in the Alabama Senate primary. Never even heard of this guy, Luther Strange. Sounds strange to me. As he left the White House on Wednesday, Trump promised his tax plan would be the largest tax cut essentially in the history of our country. And when you know Luther, the Luther Vandross and Lex Luther from the uh, Superman series. And the, uh, the, there's a program on uh, television called Luther. No, wait, it's called Lucifer. Lucifer. There's yeah. a new uh, re, uh, a series called Lucifer. Yes, Lucifer, excuse me. Where they're trying to make a, a, a comedy out of it, I think. It's a comedy? It's No, it's serious, but they, they, they try to be cute and funny. In, in uh, it. I guess uh, uh, he's trying to re-image... He's trying to... Uh, a new image of the new, devil. A new yeah. image of the devil, yeah. Which, which, which goes hand in hand with, with the system we have today in the United States. You know, eh, give, give Satan a new image. Well, it is the devil's world. Make him look likable, more, you know, more likable. This is not God's world. Oh, he, he ain't such a bad guy. He's got a sense of humor, that Beelzebub. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it is not God's world. Yeah. You know, and, uh, um, you know, Jeff Bankins was telling me, you know, everybody's uh, idolizing Hugh Hefner, but the things he represented in life were against God. They were, they were, you know, they were sinful. Most of it, but he did, uh, he did do one, one thing was to present sex out there in the public in new ways and means and etc. But I, I think he, he was for women's rights. I well, think he, yeah. He was, he was, yeah. He was in some ways a, a, a bit progressive. That's what I'm saying. Not as progressive as Larry Flint. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Of, well, uh, Larry, Hustle Magazine, yeah. but you know. It's going to be something special, Trump said. The proposed changes, including slashing the corporate and individual tax rates, Trump said he wants Republicans and Democrats to work together on the plan. This is our once-in-a-generation opportunity to fundamentally rethink our tax code, Senate Majority Mitch, Mitch McConnell said. The old turtle head. Under the framework agreed to by Trump, the congressional leaders working Poor people could owe no income tax. Filing a return could get much simpler. And there would even be a new credit for caring for elderly relatives. Remember, there, I think there's uh, 
like if you made twenty-four thousand dollars, you wouldn't pay any taxes at all. Yeah, you know what I found out? My mother's uh, wonderful uh, health insurance company called Wellcare. They they're only paying for one meal per day that she gets delivered from mom's meal. That's despicable. One meal per day and, 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 and one eight ounce cup of non-fat powdered milk per day. So, so is that all a senior citizen that's needs all, to live on is one meal per day? That's all that Meals and Wheels does. One third of your needed protein and etc. in one meal a day. Big fucking deal. And crumbs, like my grandfather said. They're throwing you crumbs. And nothing on the weekends. Less than crumbs. Saturday and Sunday. Two crumbs. So what do you do? Starve on Saturday and Sunday and and get a lousy meal now, for the next five now, days? Now I, I hear a lot of good things about United Healthcare and, and AARP. This is the company they deal with, United Healthcare. I wonder if they pay for three square meals for a senior citizen. That's, that's, that, that's really uh, 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 unacceptable. One meal per day for a senior citizen? It's probably be a, because they can't distrib distribute it. I mean, some lady or some guy sure in the morning comes and drops it off. Oh, they, they come with a... So how could they do that like three times a day? No, it comes in a big box. Well, Mom's oh, Meals comes does, in a big box. Meals on Wheels is delivered once a day. So, you know, these programs... And the frozen ones, of course, are delivered on, uh, once a week. Yeah, I'm not blaming the uh, uh, Mom's Meals or Meals on Wheels. I'm not blaming the companies per se that, you know, that make the food, that prepare the food. I'm blaming the insurance companies, the scumbags. Okay, they belong in the Chisler's Hall of Shame. In this, in this case, well care. You know how long it's taken for my mother to receive her walker? Months. She still hasn't got a walker? Now, now that my sister Jeez. called, it's supposedly, oh, well, we'll try to get it to you on Monday. Oh, yeah, it's boy. been months. They're stalling. They're, they're you know... I said, what are you, what are, what are you sending, a Walker or a Johnny Walker Scotch? I mean, wow. I mean, how, how long does it take to get a friggin' Walker? Uh, for this lady friend of mine, they, the nurse dropped it off. Dropped off a scale, dropped off a Walker. There's your privatization for you, uh, you know? tea baggers and Republicans. There's your privatization for you. And that was all on Medicare. Yeah, so, no si Medicaid. so since my mother has all the cards, yeah. then why doesn't she have the walker? <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, um, you finish up... Uh, oh, under the framework, agreed <coughs> to by Trump and congressional leaders, working poor people could owe no income tax. Filing a return could get much simpler. Republicans also want to eliminate two taxes paid entirely by the rich and take away a deduction for state and local taxes that is used most heavily and in some cases by the most wealthy and Democrat-dominated states. But many details are still in the works without sufficient details on how or even if these tax cuts will be fully paid for. This outline is nothing more than a fiscal fantasy. The missing information also makes it difficult to calculate the winners and losers of Trump's plan. Trump has said his priorities are helping the middle class and boosting jobs. Sure they are. Promising earlier this month that the rich will not be gaining at all with his plan. Oh, okay, pick up where you left off. But, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said the framework released on Wednesday at best throws crumbs for some middle-class people. Has the pres president read his plan? Schumer asked. I don't think so, because he never does. He doesn't read that crap. He, he, 
he only reads what he wants to read. Much like Bush, you know, Bush never read uh, the, up, the briefings that were given him and the, uh, all that kind of stuff. What color is he? I don't know. It's annoying. The color of annoying. Because there's a new one running around. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot orange of new ones. One. Yeah, this is an orangey White. cat that's like uh, trying to, trying to, trying to, uh, which is familiar, a demon's trying to work through the cat to fuck up the show. Hey, don't be making so much racket. Got the damn door open, what more do you want? All right, continue. Uh, continuing with the tax plan. Last year, I proposed a handy rule of thumb for evaluating the economic proposals of politicians. The more growth they promise, the worse their plan probably is. Why? Because the promise of bonkers growth usually means the politicians need that bonkers growth to paper over the ginormous deficits sure to follow. Hmm. In the real world, under more realistic assumptions, if you assume that the economy goes gangbusters and everyone gets a lot richer, then the tax base swells. Spending on social safety net services falls. And, hallelujah, that expensive thing you want no longer looks so expensive. Maybe it's even free. This rule of thumb was useful during the presidential campaign when candidates promised that their infrastructure, health, and tax proposals would pay for themselves through faster growth. It's relevant again with the Big Six's new tax plan. I put plan in scare quotes here because it's not really a plan. At best, it's an outline offering barely more detail than the bullet points the Trump administration released in April. It doesn't even specify the thresholds for the individual income tax rates it proposes. It also doesn't identify a single individual tax preference it would kill. Despite claiming to simplify the code, and close lots of loopholes. Even the state and local tax deduction, which administration officials have talked about eliminating, isn't explicitly mentioned. The plan's designers may not know what their proposal is exactly, but they know it will turbocharge growth The plan's designers, oh, excuse me, President Donald Trump told a group of Democrats and Republicans on Tuesday that his tax plan framework could lead the economy to grow more than 6% a year. As my Washington Post colleagues reported, to give you a sense of how ridiculous that is, the Federal Reserve's median forecast for long-term growth is 1.8%. Thanks in part to demographic challenges facing the country. What matters is the long-term number, as growth rates can bounce around a lot quarter to quarter and over the course of the business cycle. Trump's own economic advisors have said they think the sum total of all his tax and regulatory policies would get us to only 3% growth. A number that has been mocked 
by more or less the entire economics community. National Economic Council Director Gary Kahn is one of the administration officials who has been using that 3% benchmark, which he repeated on CNBC on Thursday, while declaring that perhaps we might get even substantially over 3%. We think we can pay for the entire tax cut through growth. Uh, a tax policy center estimate of the fuzzy April framework found that it would lower revenue between $3.5 trillion and $7.8 trillion over 10 years depending on which loopholes you assume get closed. Its numbers don't change much after accounting for economic growth effects. A separate estimate of the more recent framework released by the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget got the cost at about $2.2 trillion dollars. Whatever the actual number is, we know it's in the trillions. No realistic amount of growth is going to wipe that out. In light of all these grand growth projections, I propose a corollary to my earlier rule. Here it is. If you promise that your policy will pay for itself, through faster economic growth, you must commit in advance to cutting the programs you love most if that growth doesn't materialize. For Republicans, that means writing language into their tax bill, lopping trillions off the fence spending. Hey, if they truly believe their plan won't cost a dime, Surely there's no risk to our national security. Otherwise, the yawning deficits that would inevitably result from the Trump plan may turn into an excuse to decimate programs Republicans are already eyeing, such as Medicaid and food stamps. Already eyeing them. They're, they're not only are they eyeing them, they're chopping them. They're already chopping them. Yeah, exactly speaking right. of the devil, you know, compared to the previous discussions. Kansas provides a cautionary tale here. The state passed sweeping tax cuts in 2012 on promises that they would unleash boundless economic growth. Instead, the state had below average growth and huge budget shortfalls, which led to brutal cuts to services. School districts had to end the school year early. Eventually, after coming to terms with the failure of their supply-side experiment, the state partially reversed its disastrous tax cuts, which may be where the country ends up in a few years if this Trump tax framework passes. But as Kansas proves, a lot of damage, including the federal case, bigger debt can be done in the meantime. All right. Uh, we got a small one or not really? I mean, small? yeah, we could, we could pause it and just and just wing it because, you know, uh, we'll come, we'll come back at 3:30, and uh, and we'll, uh, we got we got like a half hour left, and just wing it, you know. If you don't have a small one, don't worry about it. You know, we'll, we'll go to lunch, and because uh, after this we only have a half hour left, you know. Well, I mean, you could go the 20 minutes if you want. Oh, you mean elapse? Elapse it? Yeah. The 20, 29. Uh, yeah, let it so, run out. So 19, 19 minutes. 19 minutes, excuse me. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. if you have an article. Oh, I have plenty of articles. Yeah. Not to say 
that if the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman and my and myself, yours truly, James P. Madonna, don't banter back and forth, that we cannot produce an outstanding, informative, and also entertaining talk show. Two two uh, progressive warriors uh, that happen to be extremely quick-witted with a great sense of humor. We don't need readings in front of us. But we just so happen to have plenty of material. Go ahead. Despite the failed attempts by the Republican Party to repeal the Affordable Care Act, the ongoing investigations into Russian election interference, and the historic low approval ratings for a president in his first term, the overwhelming majority of New Jerseyans who voted for Trump said they feel good. The New Jersey, uh, it, it, it is no surprise in my mind now that New Jersey, New Jerseyites are the biggest assholes in the United States, except for me. This is supposed to be a democratic state. New Jersey um, seems to have become, like Wisconsin, uh, a little too right wing. Mm -hmm. And uh, they re elected Chris Christie and, uh, and Scott Walker. And, and Wisconsin. It's, it, Wisconsin, right. Meanwhile, Wisconsin is right next door to a very progressive Minnesota, ah. which I salute. Minnesota, the state of Minnesota, <clears throat> and, and, it's, and its Democratic uh, progressive governor. The home of Jesse Ventura, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. All right. Hubert Humphrey, Albert, George McGovern. Al Franken. Senator Al Franken, Minnesota, again. Um, you know, as well as the Vern Gagne, the late Vern Gagne and the AWA pro wrestling. But that's, uh, I don't want to digress. But what I'm trying to say is New York State in all ways, has become much more progressive than New Jersey. Uh -huh. It has, you know. Meanwhile, 56% of all voters say they disapprove of his job performance. A better outcome than the 74% who disapprove of Governor Chris Christie's job performance. No, he sucks, man. Hey, I got people in my neighborhood. Nobody says hi to each other. I walk, I go, I go shopping in my town. Everyone looks mad. Oh. They all have an angry look on their face. Nobody talks to one another in my neighborhood. The university, Suffolk, surveyed 500 New Jersey voters who Suff said folk. they will likely go to the polls on November the seventh of whom about 187 said they voted for Trump in the last election. Ass, asshole pricks. And I, I'm sure they, they re-elected balloon boy. Trump lost in the state to Hillary Clinton by more than a half a million votes. Among Trump's promises during this campaign, his campaign, was to successfully repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act also known as Obamacare. But the latest GOP efforts to do so, a bill introduced by U.S. Senators Lindsey Graham and Bill Cassidy, has hit a snag. With Republican Senators coming out in opposition, scuttling a vote planned for this week. Still, 81% of Trump voters said they felt good about their decision to elect him. And a mere 6% said they regretted it. Satan comes, what is it? Satan comes to deceive it, the whole world? As an angel of light to deceive the whole world. Christie spoke out against the Graham Cassidy bill last week saying it would take $4 billion away 
from the state by ending the Medicaid expansion. Yeah, they're scapegoating the poor f for their taxes being so high in New Jersey. The middle class are scapegoating the poor, just like the people in the South are scapegoating and blaming all of their problems on immigrants of color and people of color. They do the same thing here. They think that trickle-down economics is real and that you have to make life easy for the very rich and the corporations. Well, they'll move out of New Jersey. Bye-bye. Hey, put your, put your corporate headquarters in Delaware if you want some extra tax breaks. New Jersey was able to get under Obamacare after speaking out publicly against the bill. The governor said he received a call from the White House asking him to explain his position. When asked whether their opinion of Trump was generally unfavorable or favorable, more voters chose the former by 58% to 37 percent. Trump's favorability at 37 percent still ranked higher than those of Christie at 18 percent. Democratic Senator Bob Menendez at 20 percent, the state legislature at 23 percent, the U.S. Congress at 17 percent and the leading candidates for governor. Democratic candidate Phil Murphy, 33%. Yeah, the guy with Wall Street ties. And Republican Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadago, 27%. Yeah, Wall Street ties, and I think he's, uh, he's a very wealthy man, too. Like John Corzine was. Those surveyed were a mix of 43% Democratic, yeah, yeah. 28% Republican. The only true progressive didn't even, doesn't even make the polls in New Jersey, uh, Lisa McCormick. She doesn't even make the polls. You know, I think she's running, I don't know if she's running as a Democrat or an Independent. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I you yeah. The polls were conducted by landline and cell phone over five days through Saturday. <coughs> the margin of error is 4.4%. The voters' view of the state and the country was similar, with more than 60% saying that both are on the wrong track for New Jersey. 41% of voters said they feel the economy has stayed the same, while 34% said it has gotten worse, and 20% said they feel the economy has improved. In terms of the state's median household income, New Jersey is among the wealthiest in the country. Yeah, well, it doesn't surprise me with all the tax breaks, uh... Uh, the fat cats are getting in New Jersey. The middle class are suffering, as always. <laughs> being strangled. Oops. You know? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, try this. A little, uh, a little change of pace. Yeah, that, that shouldn't be too long. Just enough to... Oh. Just enough to knock off... Uh, you know, good, yeah. give or take uh, ten minutes, nine minutes, rather. We've all been there. Have we? Every gadget at home is running smoothly, and we're streaming without a hitch. Suddenly, the dreaded digital slowdown, and then the mental meltdown occurs. Oh, what does this apply to? There are plenty of reasons. Your Wi-Fi acts up. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Just what we were talking about the, the last two weeks of our show. 
getting fucked over by the Wi-Fi. Including signal congestion, bandwidth issues, oh, yeah, definitely. and hardware limitations. Mm, maybe. The truth is, most households and offices can't get away with a basic signal band router anymore. Well, I have Verizon Fios, fiber optics, which includes free Wi-Fi for a certain amount, certain uh, extra number of devices. And I'm running at a high speed. You know, so uh, when I go live on YouTube, my shows are clear. All right. We're talking about non-fiber optics connections. Personal devices have started to stretch available bandwidth and each smartphone, tablet, television, desktop, gaming console, smart appliance, and laptop is competing for the same signal. Whatever your Wi-Fi hiccups, here are surefire ways to speed things up. All right, this is important. Listen, folks. Most people routinely update their apps and operating systems, but they forget about their router. How do you update your router? The advantages are twofold. You may make your Wi-Fi more efficient and also protect yourself from newly discovered security breaches. Using your web browser, type in your router's IP address. Okay. To visit your router's administrator oh, page. Really? I'm learning something new. And check for updates. Well, in, in your case, you might not be able to get in. I don't have a router. Because you don't have a router. You will have to enter a username and password to log in. Crazy? But router default passwords are readily available online. If you weren't so far from my house, I give you my 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 uh, my uh, 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 Wi-Fi router password. You can go right you're on my files. On list. Huh? You're not on the list. That means you're too far away. Mm -hmm. You're out of range. Thing. FING is a network tool that you should have in your tech arsenal even if you know your router's IP address. Sure, you'll learn your router's IP address, but you can also see all devices connected to your network. Check your internet connectivity, monitor the network, and detect intruders. Be sure to restart your router once the update is complete for the changes to take effect. Put that down in your book, F-I-N-G, and go there. Well, um, you, you, mean, you mean, you mean to, for, any, for any upgrades? No, thing, it will, it will, uh, it will, uh, it will know your router's IP address and you'll learn other things, like uh, you'll see all the devices connected to your network, check your internet connectivity, monitor the network, and what? detect intruders. I have Spessy. Spessy uh, gives you your network uh, yeah. IP address? Oh, yeah. It gives you everything, hardware, software. There's a network to the issue. It, I got it on FileHippo.com. It's its own... It's Bessie is um, it, it gives you well, it gives you every everything you want to know about your your computer. It's a freebie. All right. Well, I'm going to put Fing down for myself. Yeah. Later. Yeah. You know, you check on Fing. Fing. Uh, at like uh, th combining. Yeah, Fing. Well, I can always write it down. You might be surprised what kinds of household devices can affect your Wi-Fi speeds. Cordless phones are obvious. But what about microwave ovens? 
Did you ever suspect that a baby monitor could slow down your videos on Facebook? Wow. Well, this fa is, well, Facebook is loaded with glitches anyway. This is particularly true for older routers running on a 2.4 gigahertz. You know that Eagle Beak? How can I? How did I do the Eagle Beak last night like this? The Eagle Beak Mark Zuckerberg probably has low budget outsourced programmers running his uh, very boring looking uh, pages. That's why there's so many glitches. This is the same frequency that many household appliances run on. So, the signals tend to overlap. Another common tweak is to change the channel of your router. Again, this step is most helpful when you're running on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Because these can get congested with other appliances. Moving from one channel to a less crowded one may speed things up. The process is slightly different for Macs and PCs. Well, we'll just look at the windows. Download a free Wi-Fi utility called Acrylic Wi-Fi Home. Similar to the Mac scan tool, this application will instantly give you information about the Wi-Fi signal in your area, including the channels they occupy. You should definitely clip this reading up on, oh, your, it will be up there. on your refrigerator. For oh, you. it will For be you. on my computer. For Android users, there are a bunch of Wi-Fi scanning tools available, but a very popular one is Network Analyzer. Once you have the channel info, you need to prevent trampling on other channels. The recommended channels for 2.4 gigahertz are 1, 6, and 11, which don't overlap with each other. Many parents have specialized settings on their computers to prevent kids from getting into trouble. Oh, who cares? Similarly, you can put your kids on a separate network with its own rules and parameters. Censorship. I know AOL, well, back in the day when I first was was learning how to work a PC, uh -huh. when I was a mere neophyte, Greenhorn. Uh -huh. Greenhorn, At yeah. the time, my sister had, uh, when she was there, she, she had AOL. Oh my God, all I did is hear about protection, protection for your children, protection, security, pro it all had to do with kids. Yeah. It's like when uh, Senator Frank Lautenberg was uh, alive. All he talked about is our children, education, our children. Hey, it's not my problem that, you know, you got a thousand and one grandchildren and everything. I don't have any kids. I, I should not have to change my lifestyle. I should not have to put a baby on board sign in my car just because, you know, someone else has kids. I don't like censorship. I never did. If you're in the market for a new router Countdown. and you want improved Wi-Fi speeds, look for an 802.11 AC router with dual or triple band capabilities. AC routers are a step up from the old B, G, and N model. If you wanted to, you could keep your older 2.4 gigahertz router on its own band and add the newer AC device on a higher band. Some people have big houses and they quickly find that Wi-Fi only extends so far.
Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Okay, you heard it right. The very best way to be a part of our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored. Just simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. And that is the best way to be a part of our organization. Now we return to the second half of this show. Okay, you want to finish that last Go sentence? Ahead. The last sentence of the uh, that Wi-Fi website? Hold off. And investigate a Savier, S A V V I E R, option of a mesh network. This system uses two or three different devices which work together to blanket your environment, while a Wi Fi extender might require several network names and give you uneven coverage. A mesh network is all part of the same system, so you should always get a consistent signal. That's good. Well, that's, it's some good sound advice for people that just rely on Wi-Fi. This, of course, is an authentic importer from Ireland a uh, uh, lucky Blackthorn uh, Shillelagh, the good luck, uh, the lucky charm version. Okay. Also weapons grade, as you can see, the shamrock of authenticity. Oh, what happened? Shut off. Well, that's not. That's not my. That's not my problem. Be the problem, man. That ain't my problem. Is the camera? What did the camera do? It went in. <laughs> I think I think the shillelagh needs to give it a whack. The camera went in. How could that be? I'm supposed to have 240. It scared it. No, I char I charged it. I charged the son of a bitch. Why would it go in, you cocksucker? 
Jerry's telling me, oh, no, the lithium battery's good. Oh, sure, Jerry, you, you're drunk out of your, you, 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 you're back on a wagon, he's back drinking, and I gotta believe what a freaking, what a lush is telling me. Yeah, well, those are the ones that are burning up. The lithium battery. The lithiums? Yeah. Well, this, in the hoverboards, know. in the, uh, 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 the uh, iPads, in the, in the iPhones, in the, in the uh, laptops. Yeah. yeah. You, you people that are hearing this on the podcast, we are making an attempt to do a video of progressive discussion. So you're hearing banter of a malfunction of the camera. Okay. Let me start this again. If it does it again, <coughs> we're just going to thank it. Well, we're going to continue with your with the the audio podcast of the show, and not worry about the video. Jerry's full of shit. It's the battery use. I gotta go to Best Buy. I saw that. Uh, I saw the little the little icon. It turned black, and I saw the icon of the battery. I saw the battery icon. He's full of shit. He brags and brags and brags. The more he drinks, the more he brags. I did. I charged it over overnight. Supposed to have a full charge. What the heck? Yeah, I probably need a, a, a more, a bigger battery. I gotta go to Best Buy. Get a bigger. I know me, me yapping about. You know, Jerry Dragon is probably on the, on the uh, podcast, but still, <coughs> this battery, this lithium battery sucks. Try it one more time, and then I will abort the mission and have to get a bigger battery. Because 16 gigs of storage is sufficient. Yeah, I should have to get a store Windows 10. No, it's out of juice. You know what that means? This camera won't allow you to operate as it's plugged in. That's what pisses me off. Oh, no adapter? I have it plugged in. I got it running and it shuts off. And it tells you it's only designed to be charged, which is stupid. Because if it's plugged in, there should be electricity going into it. So I don't know what the Japanese were thinking over at Sony. I really don't. All right. Uh, I know that my uh, laptops, uh, Lenovo. Yeah. You uh, plug it in the adapter. It charges, and you use it. Well, maybe what I really should do is ask the the, the Geek Squad over at. Uh, Best Buy say, look, you are you guys familiar with the fact that uh, you know this camera will not operate if it's plugged in, um, and uh, they'll say yes, sir. They'll say, uh, oh no, no, there's a way, there's a way around it, or they'll say, yeah, you're right. It'll only accept whatever's charged in the battery. I says, well, my battery. It sucks. It really does. <clears throat> I need a battery that holds more um, power, more hours of. Uh, and it, I, I had to do it with the other, with the Samsung. Uh -huh. I, I that's what I do with the Samsung. I had I had everything replaced. Uh -huh. Now now in this case, the issue is not the flash card. Well, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to email Jerry and tell him that. Uh, his lithium battery is uh, doesn't cut it. 
got to replace it. He, he claims it's enough. May, apparently, maybe he doesn't realize how long our show is. All right? Yeah, but two right. hours. Come on. Yeah. Any camera should be able to hold that. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. There's something else I have to do now. Another project. All right, we'll continue with the audio podcast. Experts on North Korea agree that Kim Jong-un will not give up his nuclear program, nor does he intend to destroy his country by attacking the United States. Never one to listen to experts, President Trump resorts to name-calling and immature Double dog dare you bombast at the United Nations. He won't listen to experts because he, he's a narcissist, egomaniac, he knows it all. He knew more than the generals. Remember. I bet he would even buck heads with, with a bulldog Matt, Mattis. He might be the next to go. Who the hell knows? Bulldog Mattis? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Many negative adjectives have been used to describe Trump. This time, dangerous heads the list. After viewing the retweet of an edited video showing President Trump hitting Hillary Clinton with a golf ball, it is time for Americans to wake up. Alarms have been going off since his campaign for president. Well, he did bully her during the debates. Oh. No doubt about that. Remember, I'm look, I'm remember no, when he was stalking her? I'm no fan of Hillary Clinton or Bill, but he did stalk her. Oh, yeah. He did breathe down her neck in, in the 2016 oh, yeah. debate. No, no doubt about it. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> but this retweet is actually alarming. Americans should not accept this behavior. It is time to wake up, hold Donald Trump accountable for his actions as president and leader of the United States. North Korea's foreign minister told world leaders on Saturday that the U.S. President Donald Trump's insult, calling calling leader Kim Jong-un a rocket man. <laughs> but is, wasn't that a, uh, a Elton John song? Yeah. Rocket man. <laughs> makes our rocket's visit <coughs> to the entire U.S. mainland inevitable all the more. Re Young Ho called the American president a mentally deranged person, <laughs> full of megalomania and complacency. Oh, and there, and then, who's this, Kim? No, this is Re Young Ho, the uh, foreign minister of Korea, North Korea. Oh, and they're not? And his boy's not? No, Come nothing on. wrong with his boy. Well, well, he's got to say that. <coughs> With his finger his on ass. the nuclear trigger. That's right. And he said Trump's reckless and violent words had provoked the supreme dignity of North Korea and rendered this sacred UN arena tainted. Reeves' highly anticipated speech to the General Assembly's annual ministerial meeting fueled the fiery rhetoric between the U.S. Republican president and North Korea's young leader. Trump threatened in his speech to the 193-member world body to totally destroy North Korea. Oh, yeah. 
if forced to defend the U.S. Incinerated. Or yeah. its allies. Kim, in an unusual direct statement to the world, responded pledging to take highest level action against the United States. Highest level action. None other than Trump himself is on a suicide mission, Reed told the assembly. In a show of American military might, U.S. bombers and fighter escorts flew in international airspace on Saturday to the farthest point north of the border between North Korea and South Korea that any such American aircraft has drawn in this South Korea. Will North Korea ex the next nuclear test involve a thermonuclear missile screaming over Japan? That's a question being asked. After North Korea's foreign minister said his country may test a hydrogen bomb in the Pacific Ocean. The world hasn't seen an above ground atmospheric nuclear death since an island, since an inland, excuse me, detonation by China in 1980. And North Korea upending that could push the region dangerously close to war. The room for error would be minimal and any mistake could be disastrous, even if successful. Such a test could endanger air and sea traffic in the region. Because of that, many experts don't think North Korea would take such a risk. But they're not ruling it out. Given North Korea's increasing number of nuclear and missile tests, the main reason for North Korea to take that risk would be to quiet outside doubts about whether it really has a thermonuclear weapon. Uh, small enough to fit on a missile. Jeffrey Lewis, a U.S. arms control expert at the Middlebury Center of International Studies at Monterey in California, said, North Korean Foreign Minister Ri Yong Ho wouldn't have spoken without approval from Pyongyang's top leadership when he suggested to reporters in New York on Friday that the country could conduct an atmospheric hydrogen bomb test to fulfill the vows of the country's leader, Kim Jong-un. Yeah, he was actually worse than his father was. Kim, in an unusual direct statement to the world, pledged hours earlier to take highest level action against the United States. Highest level action. Over President Trump's threat to totally destroy the North if provoked. Oh yeah, boy, he's that powerful. Oh, sure. If North Korea attempts an atmospheric nuclear test at sea, it would most likely involve its most powerful ballistic missiles, such as the intermediate range Wasong 12 or the intercontinental range Wasong 14. Wasabi. The country lacks assets to airdrop a nuclear device. And sending a vessel out to sea to detonate a device raises the chances of getting detected and stopped by the U.S. military. For the nuclear missile to reach a remote part of the Pacific, it would have to fly over Japan, as the North did with two Wasong-12 test launches in recent weeks. There have been only a handful of times when atmospheric nuclear tests involve ballistic missiles. 
Lewis finds similarities between North Korea and the events that led to China's 1966 attack, which was driven by U.S. doubt Chinese capabilities to place nuclear weapons on ballistic missiles. The United States still taking an attitude of skepticism toward North The difference, of course, is that China fires its nuclear armed missile over its own territory, not another country. A nuclear launch by North Korea would come dangerously close to an act of war that Lee Chun Ryu, missile expert from South Korea's science and technology, Technology policy. If missile tests can easily go wrong, and the consequences of failure can be terrible if the missiles are with the nuclear weapon. Well, getting there, Kim, not, not, not as, uh, this made it well armed as, uh, well, he's getting there, a lot of damage, well, now they're ready for it, Twitter, like you call it. Son of a bitch. Active. Yeah, he's not, he doesn't. Well, dog on the NFL, son of a bitches. Sons of bitches? Well, that, that was Jackie Gleason in Smoking the Fan. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch. No, but he, but it's not very presidential, uh, that heckler, take him outside, get rid of him, beat him up, fuck him, like that, hey, people knew what they were doing, what's going on, about him? Yeah. racism was uh, around people, that was going on, uh, during that African American ball player, I stand with him, yeah. Pumpernickel, Pumpernickel, yeah. there was no logical, justifiable reason, any American will stand or kneel to the United States National Anthem, uh, represent the United States, it is racism, the police, no, no, logical, it's conservative majority restored, the Supreme Court said on Thursday, it will return to an issue with the potential to financially cripple them. Democratic leaning labor unions that represent government work. After the justices headlock four to four in a similar case last year, the high court will consider a free speech challenge from workers who object to paying money to unions they don't support. Court with conservative Justice Neil Gorsuch on board or could decide to overturn his 40 year old Supreme Court ruling that allows public sector unions like these non members over the cost of negotiating at all. The union thieves tussle is among nine new cases. The justices added to their docket the term that begins on Monday. Others <coughs> deal with a defendant's right to direct his own defense. police searches of vehicles and overtime pay for service advisors. Car dealership. Labor unions have been under same attack at the high court in recent years. The latest bill is from a state employee in Illinois. It was filed at the Supreme Court just two months. Gorsuch filled the high court seat that had been vacant since Justice Jim Scalia's death. He takes a high union membership in the U.S. line. To just 10.7% of the workforce active, and the ranks of private sector unions have been especially high. About half of all union members now work in federal, state, and local government. Many are in states like Illinois, New York, and California that are largely democratic and seen as friendly for unions. Labor leaders criticize the court for taking up case. Case is yet another example of corporate interests using their power and influence to launch a political attack and working to rig the rules of the economy in their own favor. <laughs> President of the National Right to Work Legal Defense Foundation said court is poised to protect employees' rights. With the Supreme Court agreeing to hear the matter, we are now one step closer to freeing over five million public sector unions. We saw five and other employees from the industry forced to subsidize a union as a condition of working for their own government. The Illinois case of Mark and eight employees who said Illinois not law violated his police rights by requiring him to pay fees to subsidize gas tax, which represent tens of thousands of Illinois workers. Not half a state has similar laws covering so called fair share fees that cover bargaining power for men, non men. Janice is seeking to overturn a 1977 Supreme Court case, Abood versus Detroit Board of Education, that said public workers who refuse to join a union can still be required to pay for bargaining as long as the fees don't go toward political purposes. The arrangement was supposed to prevent non-members from free rights, as the union has a legal duty to represent all workers. A federal appeals court has rejected Janice's claim in March. Gorsuch was turned pro, and the appeal was filed in June. Leo died in February, just a month after the justices heard a similar case from the court seems ready to overrule the 1970s and the full four time court announced in March of that year almost certainly meant that Scalia typically a friend of unions in high court cases would have been part of the majority ruling against the justices or hear arguments in the wind okay that'll wrap it up right wrap that baby up in swaddling cold well uh Thanks for joining us this week, uh, Press Section Podcast. Uh, it is free, October 2007. I show up until tomorrow, Sunday, October 5th, 75. I'm really, um, so have a safe week, uh, and uh, Rev. Mark Lee Eisman. Oh, you better censor and see and hear the Rev. Mark Lee Eisman on the web with the God Project, the Mega Life Money, and all of the passions of the most powerful conservatives who dissented, uh, are all there. I've heard the Rev. Mark Lee Eisman, all of us are out.
out there very smart now. You see them on YouTube and out there. They're yeah. out there. Being they're on Facebook, too. Yeah, yes. Oh, well, they're, they're predominantly on YouTube. Just type in Google with William A. Eisenman, Karma, God Project, or Censors, or how conservatives. That doesn't bring them up. Like, Michael, Michael White, one, and all of them on your right-hand side. Where they are all uh, the Reverend Dr. B. Lee has a uh, uh, Bible. Really, not what a lot of the conservatives own. Very nice. Yeah. Get on my board. Uh, this debate I had in the gate was back at, you know, he said that was in John. He said that John is a, he was here at the very beginning of the age to take the Yahweh. So the Yahweh, the creator, and Jesus was God himself. So I said to him, well, you have to do is read John 1, 1. I said, if that was so, you'll know that. If, if there wasn't, if there weren't two gods up there, Yahweh and Father, then why was he talking to the Father when he being crucified? Saying, why have you forsaken me? Mm -hmm. If there were, if there were, God was not in dual form. Now, tomorrow, he is returning. Man, man, gate, brother Bob, and brother Bob, uh, as I said, brother Bob, they, they, they walk through the Bible to the I'm going to trust the end of brother Bob, because that's what he's about to accept him. He said, God, why have you forsaken me? Now, I'm not saying he's not Yahweh. And who's talking to him? Crucify Jesus at all. Everything. Yahweh, Yahweh, he must be God. I told you to go and read John 1, verse 1 to 14. They were two separate entities from eternity. They lived together in harmony until they began the creation. Jesus was the creator. Right. Yahweh. The Father allowed him to create. Oh, the Father uh, delegated uh, where? Well, just, yeah. just like, uh, just like a, 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 a human father delegates his son to chores in the house, or, you know, a uh, ego delegates to the boss. Uh, but the word, the God that became Yahweh, was also Melchizedek. Right. And Jesus. Where, where does the word Jehovah? Well, that? that's a mistranslation. Uh, okay. uh, because the Jewish, Jewish, uh, what's it called, alphabet has no vowels. So when you're, when you're, when you're uh, writing out Yahweh, it's Y H. Uh, Right. The vowels are no, there's no vowel. So it could be Yahweh or it could be Yahoo. Right. Now, That's now, where now, it is. Now, now, now what the evangelist can get is probably think more of an halo in the denomination. Halo in is a word like it embodies more than one person. I mean, it's a good question. I mean, uh, uh, it's a mysterious question. Like, in other words, before their creation, what did uh, Yahweh and God the Father do if it was up out there? But they forget that they live in a different dimension. That's correct. That the, set, the heaven, the final heaven, is not of this material world. You know, the first heaven will be atmosphere of the earth. The second heaven will be outer space, outer space the physical universe, planets, stars, the sun, comets, the asteroids, etc. Then you have um, third. the third heaven will be... And that would be in the north. That would be like That's another... where the God lives. That's another... That's like a parallel universe or another... Thing. Yeah, it's not... We all, don't know. Okay, we don't we know. Don't we know. just know that uh, they were living there for all eternity, and they created angels, they created... He put it, the yeah. universe, created angels, Well, with, you know? uh, with, uh, with, the, with the ability to make their own decision to tell. Like, even what, uh, just like... Uh, yeah. but in fact, God be will enter a unfortunate they are two separate beings. They are two separate beings. Now, now if you want to be a hard head and get into an argument with you, you'll see on one foot team. Well, I'll, I'll just talk to Brother Bob. You know, Brother Bob has uh, more uh, of a logical approach on data and reality, whereas Van Gate has an emotional. Now, he'll say, proof is right in your face. Well, if proof is right in your face. Why why do you say, God, why have you forsaken me? Well, you got it, but, but you remember at that time, she, Jesus gave up his name. It becomes Jesus. He was not the God he was. He was not the Word at that well, time. Well, he was, he had sinned. No, he could have sinned. He did not sin. No, but what I'm saying is he born of the Virgin Mary. He was immaculate conception, but he had sin. Right. But he, he was, was born. Okay. That's why he is an example. Okay. So He's he the example of how you should live your life. Okay, so he was talking, so he was obviously talking to the baby. There you go. While he was being crucified. That's all you need to accept. Okay. And don't add nothing more to it. I mean, if, or if, take if, away. if, uh, if Yahweh was God himself, then uh, a God with affection would not talk himself. That's like, right. Like a Donald Trump would That's not true. be talking himself. That's all right. right. You better like that. Have a good one, people. Uh, no, I just made it out by not so many audio files. Many two audio files. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Bye -bye. And remember, very very part of our organization is to live in order to be a better guy than a guy. Of course, the TV, the website, the Facebook page, the Twitter, the YZ, and of course, on the uh, as seen on the web. Hey.